because it's softening your enamel. So don't brush your teeth after eating. You might want to rinse your mouth out with water to try to remove some of the acid. But the last thing you want to do after eating something acidic is brush your teeth. Even then? The more acidic it is, the less you want to brush your teeth. The acid is softening the enamel. You don't want to brush your teeth when your enamel is softer. Yeah, I got that. You understand? Yes. I thought that with lemon was an exception. Absolutely not. Why would it be? Because it's, so it's too acidic and making But it's making your it's just softening it even more. Uh. The acid makes your enamel soft. You want to brush it under those circumstances. And finishing with this topic as I have did, and like the people that say no, the sugar of the fruits, like now the opposite. Like the sugar uh -huh. will damage the teeth or make um Caries. Uh huh. Um, no, it's not true. Well, the, the sugar will make caries. If it sits on your teeth, it will. Why is it sitting on your teeth? It's sitting on your teeth if you're eating dried fruit, which stick to your teeth. Mm. It's sitting in your teeth, maybe if there's a bunch of plaque in your mouth that's, that's, you know, everything's all pasty, then it might stick to your teeth. But if your mouth is clean, why should it affect you? Mm. Okay? I've been eating fruit now for nearly 27 years. I've never had a single cavity. Mm. There's no reason it should be an issue. You can wait half an hour after eating No, fruit. no, you can't. You need to wait a minimum of two to three hours. Yeah. I know many people in Israel that are raw vegans and they have teeth problems. So you think it's because of the dried food mostly? Are they eating a lot of dried fruit? I don't know. Well, I mean, a lot of people do eat a lot of dried fruit. A lot of people eat a lot of nuts and That's seeds. Dates. A lot of people who say their fruitarians aren't really doing that. And they're putting other stuff in there, which is coating their teeth, creating problems. If they're, as we've talked about this before, if they're grazing all day, as a lot of people do, Someone just commented on one of my videos, something wasn't talking to me, saying, well, I graze on fruit all day. Don't do that. You know, it's, if it takes two to three hours, because I think it's three hours, to set up the enamel again, and you're eating before then, before you've set up the enamel, you're taking more off. You're going to keep wearing your teeth down. Yes. Okay? The less frequently you eat, the healthier your teeth will be. But every species has teeth intended to last a lifetime. Ours are no different. You know, the problem is, is that we're the only species on the planet, aside from the ones we take care of, that's not eating the diet it was intended for. I have an important question. If you would have uh, amalgam uh, fillings, would you take them off? Well, I still have some. Mm -hmm. It would be good to get them out. They're very toxic. I've had mine tested and there was no mercury leaking into my body. I took 12 out. out. Whoa. Good, good. It is red. Yeah, good. Uh, now, if you're gonna have your amalgams removed, you need to make sure you have it done by someone that really knows what they're doing. Yeah, it's, because it the greatest, professional. Because the greatest exposure to mercury is, is when they're taking them out. So people who don't know the protocol, I mean, you need to go to a holistic dentist. Yeah, yeah. Regular dentist. There's just one in Israel that did that. I was very close to taking them off. Just, just another word, since we're talking about teeth for just a second. I'm not sure if we covered this last time. Um, well, the uh, root canals, don't do them. Incredibly dangerous, okay? A root canal, this is where the, the root dies. The tooth is still sitting there, but the root's in, you know, in trouble. So what they do is they take the root out, and they leave the tooth with this pocket underneath it. And what happens is bacteria, all kinds of issues that, that there are some, some people, holistic dentists say it can lead to very serious problems. So much better to take the tooth out. Okay, take it out. Don't, because the problem is, is that you've got this hole which is covered with a tooth, so it's, it's closed. Take it out, you don't have a problem anymore. Okay. Also, most doctors will tell you to do this because it's more money, you know. It's, it's, Pro perhaps. Most of them are just after the money. Well, so most you, people would like to keep their teeth. Well, you have, right, but, but it's, it's not safe to do it. If the root, you know, what you want to do 
is protect your health so you don't wind up in this problem with this problem. If you're healthy, your teeth the, will be healthy, the roots will be healthy too. Once you create a problem, you do not want to take the, the root out and leave the tooth there. If you need, you know, if, if that if you've got this issue, what you do instead, you've got a couple options. One of them is to leave a hole. Okay? Now, if it's in the front, most people probably don't want to do that. Um, if it's in the back, it's not even going to be noticeable most of the time. Not many people see your back teeth unless you're one of those people that has, you know, the super wide smile. It's, most people aren't going to see it. So the alternatives, there are two of them. One of them is to get an implant. It's not perfect. What they do is they drill into the bone, the jaw bone, and they used to use titanium posts. Many people still do. Some use uh, cubit zirconia, which is a man-made crystal. Okay, they're both supposed to be pretty inert, which means your body doesn't react to them. Okay, and then they put a fake tooth there, but everything's cleaned out. There, you know, it's, that's much safer alternative. And the the other alternative is a bridge, which is also not optimal because what happens with the bridge is they have to actually take some tooth material off of the teeth on either side of the hole. The hole could be one tooth, it could be several. And then there are fake teeth which are connected to the teeth on the side. So it's not going into your bone, it's going onto your teeth. But they do have to damage the teeth on either side of the hole for that to work. So, you know, for those people who aren't self-conscious about it, or maybe it's where it doesn't show, if it were me, I would leave the hole and I would only do something else if it turned out that there was a lot of movement and there was problems being created because of it. Okay, in the absence of that, better to leave the hole. My opinion. Yeah, the thing I have, the last, the last one from here is missing. Take this one off. And the uh, one on top is like slowly like, go moving. Down. Yeah. So they really recommend that I put the implant. No, it's just... It's an option. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably not terrible. I, you know, I prefer not to have foreign materials in my body. I already have, even, I already did the first part. I have the metal thing there. I only miss, I am only have to put the teeth. Right. Kusel? Could, could find it? There is really? a, another option. I just researched it. Um, there's like, you just do the hole and then there's a bridge. Kind of thing that you can take out. Yeah, it's like a retainer. Yeah, exactly. Right. They, they have just newly done some stuff so you can put it in while you want something. Right, right. Involved. But you mean that the root canal is like risky or it's always something bad because bacteria stays there? No, my understanding is it's, it's very dangerous. I mean, some people may survive, you know, may live with it for a lifetime and never have a problem but it's very likely to become problematic. I would ne personally, I would never do one. Never. Under any circumstance. It would be the very, very last thing. There's no reason to do it. I'd, I'd, I'd take the tooth out, period. Katie's doing one this week. Well, it's not, it's not too late to cancel. She hasn't done it yet. Don't do I don't care if she can't get her money back. Better to lose the money than to lose her health. Do some research. Super dangerous. And to do the other options. Or nothing. But I wouldn't do the root canal. I mean, she doesn't have to do anything right away. Just take the tooth out. I heard the same thing. Me too. I had no idea about this stuff. All right, we're, we're about done. What I'll do is... Gazelle couldn't find it. I'll go see if I can locate that picture and I'll bring it out so you can take a look if you like. Okay? Hey, thanks for watching. If you're interested in more information about fasting in general, we've got a playlist there. If you're interested in fasting for specific conditions, you can check out that list. If you want to hear what people experience was in their own words, we've got a group there. And then we've got another one, which is all about optimal diet and how to maximize your health.